skin of my thumb, he's pinning it down into the glove, and every time I try to move forward or move out of the mouth, he bites down harder. Close to some areas where I do not want him. Oh no. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions, and I think I figured this one out. Just take the pants off. Whew. Stick around, guys. This is gonna be a good one. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very, very exciting reptile unboxing. Um, as you guys can already guess from the title of this video, it is a Toke Gecko. It is a Toke Gecko Morph, and whew, it has been one that I have dreamed about really ever since I started becoming a Toke breeder. So we're just gonna skip the intro today. Um, I am just way too excited. Uh, probably actually one of the bad things about being a YouTuber is the fact that I have to wait to unbox these guys before uh, until I make a video on them. So uh, I'm super stoked. We're just gonna get into this. Uh, this actually, there are two Toke geckos in here. One is the uh, morph that we're gonna be going over and one is a sibling that is het for that morph. We're gonna talk a little bit about that later as soon as I get this tape, luckily got the handy dandy pocket knife here, so this should go a little faster than usual. It's just using uh, the car keys like I have in the past. So we almost got this done. Just got one more little tape hole. That's not the right way. There we go. Alrighty, so this box is uh, comes from Lucky Foot Geckos. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but a huge shout out to Lucky Foot Geckos for these. Uh, this pair. This is gonna be, <laughs> oh man. Right, so we got well insulated as always, looking good. Uh, I bought a couple of geckos from um, Denise over at Lucky Foot, but this is by far going to be the best. So, oh man, I'm excited. <laughs> so how we're gonna do this is I think I'm gonna show the head off first and then I'm gonna show off the male, which is the uh, visual for this uh, morph. And uh, yeah, I think that'll just be like the grand finale of it. So let's get into it. All right, oh, Lucky, we got the, um, we have the uh, het first, so that actually makes my job easier, so I don't have to like jungle them around. Oh man, look at this gal. Ooh. We'll get to you in a second, bud. Hang on. <clears throat> so here we have, um, so we have the birth date. There's a little card on here. So this is a finger biter. Meet finger biter, everybody. She is a big toke. Look at this gal, if she can. She keeps, let's try to zoom in on that face. Oh my God, that is beautiful. This is a nice large girl, my God. <laughs> so with this, she is nicknamed Finger Biter. So um, looks like we'll be in for a treat with this one. Um, we got the hatch date, everything on there. She's, she's a couple years old. Wow, such a nice, healthy tail. My God, this is a big toke. <laughs> I think this is actually, I think this is a, this, I think this is going to be the biggest toke in my collection as of right now. Um, so far, Big Red looks like, hi little one. So far, Big Red looks like, oh, she's a little fresh. I, I keep trying to get her to the camera, but she keeps just facing me and then <laughs> let's get another. <laughs> but yeah, so far, Big Red has been my largest toke being a male, but this female, she, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a rival. She is, uh, she's pretty big. So let's get into it. So this pair is going to be a pair of granite toke geckos. Talked a little bit about them in my toke morph video. This isn't zooming there. <laughs> I talked a little bit about the granite morph in one of my toke morphs video. I'll put it right here in the corner. Um, these have been a dream morph for me for such a long time, just because the visual of this morph is just outstanding. The difficult part of it is the fact that it hasn't been proven out yet. We haven't got, we don't have a clear indicator on how to reproduce this morph. Uh, that's not to say that we haven't reproduced this morph. There has been cases where we have. Um, however, it's just really sporadic. Um, we've paired granite to granite. I believe this is a um, granite to granite baby um, and that then produced a um, what we would think was heterozygous for the gene, but we can only prove it out through line breeding and trying to show those visuals or prove those visuals out. However, with that case, um, they don't hatch out of the egg with the visual morph. For some reason, this mutation seems to spark at anywhere from six months to three years. So anywhere around that time, you will get a normal looking toke like this, but a year or two from now, you might start seeing it change into what the granite pattern and the, well, visual looks like. <laughs> 
The whole thing's bizarre. It doesn't really make any sense, but I love it, and I cannot wait to get my toes in this. Um, luckily for me, so here's what we'll have to. I'll talk a little bit about this right now. So this female, what we what we were doing before with me, uh, what, what uh, Denise out of Lucky Foot Geckos was doing is she had these two paired. However. They weren't copulating, they weren't producing eggs, and there could be a few reasons about, about that, but we're gonna give it a shot over here at DBCB Exotics. Um, how I think this is gonna go is I have this particular female in mind for the granite male that we'll talk about in a little bit, but with this female, although with the size, I might have to wait off because she's a little bigger than my usual gals. Uh, she, is, she is not happy with me. Let's see if we can get that face in there. Oh, see, she keeps stopping, she like... <laughs> But this gal is going to go to one of my green galaxy males. We do have one that's put on a little bit of weight. I've had him for about a year now. Um, but there might be too much of a size difference. I'll have to double check. I'm going to look into it when I, I compare both of them and see, you know, maybe I'll have to hold off this male, get him a little bit more chunky uh, before we try to pair. But that green galaxy does have granite blood in it. So by chance, with this being a het for granite possibly, combining that or breeding that with a male that has granite blood in him, we might be able to get a shot at breeding those visuals. All right, we are gonna put her down. We're not gonna take this one out just because, uh, well, with as the name suggests, finger biter, she is like a little bit more of the fresh guys where I hear the granite is a little bit more calm. We'll definitely take that guy and hit him just because it's a granite toke. <laughs> You guys that don't understand, I'm so excited for this. First things first, gotta saddle up. This is my anti getting fucked up by a toke glove. <laughs> All right guys, you ready? Let's bring out the visual for the granite morph. Just gotta move so, ooh, he is a little fresh. Ooh, this will be fun. I am definitely gonna handle this guy. I want to, um, my God. He's got a little poop in there. You are Stunning. Holy shit. Still a very large male. My god. Let's get a zoom in on this. I'll have to use this hand. Come on. Yeah, check that guy out. So as the granite morph does, as you can kind of see, um, this is not a blue. It has no blue on it. You don't, you're not seeing these orange red spots. It's getting uh, cleared out by this charcoal gray base color with these black spots. This is just in a mate. Look at the size of this guy. My god. <laughs> I'll be honest, um, I'm a little intimidated as far as my other tokes are. They're on a bit of the smaller end, I guess. <laughs> you know, for a long time I thought, yeah, look at this, uh, that male red. I'll post, post him right here. Um, that's a pretty large gecko, but um, I think this guy definitely takes the cake. This is a large dude. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> but all right, that's not going to stop us. Let's get this guy out. What? I changed my mind. I don't care if it looked like a wolf. Was, uh, we, we got the big boy gloves on because... That bite looks like it probably hurt. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. I am uh, slightly hesitant, as you can see from his demeanor. Um, this will be very interesting. Hopefully, uh, luckily we're in this room. There's not too many places you can run off to. I got both doors closed, so. Oh boy. All right, we are taking it off. <laughs> Easy there, bud. those big old jaws. Nice and easy. Hang on. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You good? You okay now? I know. So scary. I am like slightly terrified he's going to jump up but oh i know i know oh you got me right in the thumb bud oh it's okay it's okay well oh yeah i'm glad i got these heavy duty gloves on because this is a uh, yeah he's biting right through the gloves into that thumb Ooh. oh oh <laughs> I <laughs> know on my last Toke video, I talked about how, oh, you know, as babies, the bikes don't really hurt, you know, it's just the adults. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, adult bites like this large male um, aren't too fun. It's nothing that I'm like too concerned with, but uh, going back to our first study about the uh, 
jaw strength that they have. Let me see if I can um, let's zoom in on the shot. You can see his eyeballs are indenting into his skull. There's just that much jaw pressure. You can see right in the head. Oh, all that muscle he has just to bite down. They call these guys their nickname, the Pitbull Gecko, and uh, it, it does have its reasons because they have that locking jaw, which, oof. Oh man, okay. How to get you off of my thumb. Whew. Starting to feel it now, boys. Starting to feel it now. You can see his eyes are just completely fixated on my thumb. <laughs> now usually this would be the part where I take the, oh man. <laughs> it's usually where I would be able to take the glove off, but unfortunately he has bit down right onto the skin of my thumb. He's pinning it down into the glove and every time I try to move forward or move out of the mouth, he bites down harder. Um, whew, not, oh man. <laughs> Toke bites people. Um, they're not something to joke around with. I'm glad I'm wearing this glove because, man, that is a bite. So we're gonna try to get him off and we are gonna stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we were able to get it off. We'll take a look at the damage a little bit later, but uh, I just wanna show you guys something real quick. So we just use a quick spray bottle. I don't know why this thing won't zoom in when I have gloves on, but what's really interesting is you can see the hydrophobic scales that Tokes possess. You see, we just give them a little quick spritz and come on, there we go. Give him a quick spritz, but you see the water just kind of beads up around the scales. It's very awesome to see. Uh, New England Reptile did a uh, great little bit on it. Um, they used Kevin's blood, which I'm sure I'm bleeding through this glove right now. So I could probably show that. However, that didn't get very good reviews. So we might, I might just stick with the, uh, the water. <laughs> But my God, would you just look at how beautiful this animal is. Definitely worth the bite. I'm gonna get some pictures of him. This is gonna be my new profile picture with this animal because oh my God, this is a stunning guy. Let's see if we can get a quick look at the back. Just all those black spots down that beautiful, almost charcoal-like base color. This is such a beautiful animal. I, this is like a dream for me, guys. I, I cannot believe this gecko morph is in my collection. I'm just, I'm amazed. This is, it is such a gorgeous animal. Um, a little feisty, I will give you that. I think this actually might be the gecko that did give uh, Denise this bite right here that you'll be able to see. I, I gotta double check with her, but I think she did mention that it, it came from one of her granites. She does have a few granites. Um, if you guys are interested in any of those, by the way, by the way, uh, just a huge shout, you know, I'm just rambling. I just, this guy's just, you know. <laughs> but a huge shout out to Lucky Foot Geckos. Denise over there, um, she, she made this possible, this beautiful pair. Uh, if you guys, if anyone wants, um, she probably doesn't sell, um, she, well, she won't really sell any granite tokes. This is a bit of a uh, different si si situation, but um, if you guys do want something like toke hets or granite hets for toke geckos, these are babies that produce from a granite pair or even the pied pair that she has as well. Um, these guys have the opportunity to perhaps change after a certain amount of time. Again, that six months to three years mark. Uh, however, it is just possible. It is not a guarantee. However, they go for a decent price. Um, I thought about, honestly, I, that's actually what I was going to do. What, I'm sorry, I'm freaking them out. Was I was gonna get one of her het babies and grow them out and try to breed them to the granite, but then she uh, came with me with this offer and it was definitely one that I could not refuse. And let's get one final look at this guy. Oh my God, you know what? I'm just gonna take the glove off. I don't give a fuck. Fuck. I want a zoomed in picture of the beauty that is this granite. I'm just gonna bleed a little bit all over the place. Wow, look at this animal. Ooh, my thumb is throbbing. Looks like he actually did not end up breaking. Oops, let's uh, looks like he didn't end up breaking any skin. However, there's a nice little bump there. Oh, he knows I don't have the glove now. Oh. Guys, guys, we have a situation. He is too close to some areas where I do not want him. Oh no. Modern problems require modern solutions and I think I figured this one out. You just take the pants off. Well, boys and girls, I am uh, not entirely sure how to get him off of my shorts. This has been um, quite the unboxing video, I think we can say the least. It went from me 
opening a box to me making a video without pants on. So, pretty much how it goes. I guess we'll just do some uh, nice B-roll shots and then put them in the enclosure with my shorts. Alright guys, it, it's been like 15 minutes. I cannot get him off of these shorts. I'm not gonna try to force him or anything. There's really no need. Um, I'm just gonna end up putting him in the enclosure with my shorts and hopefully in like an hour or so he'll uh, not be biting them and I can get my pants back. But uh, I'm pretty, this is like a pretty good uh, wrapping up point. I don't think we're gonna outdo uh, taking my pants off because the Toke Gecko bit him. I think that's really the highlight of the video. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, if you guys like Toke videos like these, I post a bunch of them. I got a couple more coming this week and next week. Make sure to, or no, it already happened because this is the next week. Nah, I don't matter. Hit the subscribe button anyway. While you're down there, hit that like button. Um, if you wanna see some more of my animals or my, are you gonna get off? If you want to see some more of my animals or my breeding products, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DBCB Exotics. We are also on TikTok. Like some cool merch designs like this shirt right here. Maybe some of these designs over here and over here. You can check them out at teespring.com. We've got them right under there in the description. Last but not least, we have Patreon. Shout out to the new Patreon members that just joined this month. They're going to be right in that outro. Um, also, other than that, we also have Patreon now. For some of you guys that don't know, you can join it for as little as a dollar a day. You could have found out that this guy was coming over here about a week ago and gotten these funny short pictures by then. But no, you had to wait the, t the week or two, however long it takes me to edit and upload this video. What a bummer. But wait, if you sign up now for just a dollar a month, you won't have to miss out any of that. Teespring, it's all in the description. Just go right on down. There.